after today I will no longer need to mine any cobblestone in my skyblock world because I am making a combination of ill mangoes, cobblestone generator, and endbends TNT duper, and yeah, we, we, we don't need to mine anything anymore. It's, it's fantastic. So, uh, first of all, I haven't created a video in this world before, so let me give you an overview of the base so you're up to date on what this world is. So I've been playing this world for 400, maybe 500 days, so grinding's all out of the way, and I wanted to start a brand new Let's Play with everybody here so we can experience the end game of Skyblock. I've been streaming this almost every Friday, so we're pretty far in. So I've already done a automatic mob farm, as you can see, and that also doubles as a skulk farm. We'll get to that in just a second. And I've created a villager trading hall, so we have access to diamond tools and enchantments and all that stuff. It's amazing. Now, I've been focusing on building a lot in this world. So as you can see, there's a lot going on underneath of the island. And this is actually inspired by an artist on ArtStation named Min Soo Byung. And they are an amazing concept artist. As you can see, it's pretty similar, my base in this art. And I wanted to go and make this tree more like a corrupted tree and like taking over the island and stuff. So that's what is eventually going to happen. We'll get to that project. But like I said in the beginning, I, we're done with grinding and I have a manual cobble slash stone generator. So today I want to make that fully automatic with one of Il Mango's TNT based cobblestone farms. Currently, our cobblestone generator is actually a stone generator and it's connected right here to the Skulk farm. And this is a big theme with our corrupted tree base, but if I go down here, this is where I have both my stone generator and my basalt generator. So I just sit here in mine super manual, same with the basalt. I just sit here and mine it. I'm going to need to upgrade these for sure. So here are all the materials we're going to need. This is a TNT duper. It's pretty cheap actually very very efficient and whatnot and then here's the cobblestone farm itself all the materials we're going to need except i need more slime so that's a problem because i get slime from the ancient city right here it is close to the world border well i don't remember if i left a warden here or not dang it i did leave him here Oh gosh, he's still coming. He's still after me. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, well, at least he's over there. We'll be able to get these slimes from over here, hopefully. Oh, I hear him. Is he behind me? This is always terrifying. Why, why have I not made a slime farm yet? Oh, slime. There he is. Want that slime? Oh, gosh. Niffin for me. Oh. Only I had Swift Sneak? Oh gosh. Yeah. There are slimes over here. Not me. Oh. Yes. Yes, he's angry at the slimes. It's not me. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Good. Let's just go over to the other side. He'll farm some slimes on that side for me, and I'll farm slimes over here. A peaceful, peaceful partnership. What could go wrong? Alrighty. Oh, no. Let's uh, slowly sneak our way out of here. Good. Oh, nope, nope, we're not good. We're not good. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Over here. Uh, 
Nope. Nope, nope. We're out. We're out. Goodbye. We're out. We got slime. Oof. Making friends with the warden. Yep. Yep. That's totally a good idea. And with that terrifying encounter out of the way, let's get going on the farm. <laughs> And there we have it. Cobblestone Island, or whatever we want to call it, is now complete. Set with the TNT duplicator up top and cobblestone coming out the sides and bottoms here. This is the first time I've ever done a cobblestone generator like this, so it's a pretty big deal for me. And it's been running for quite a while as I built up the island. As you can see, there is so much cobblestone built up. I am so happy with this. Next step for this insane cobble storage system, I want stone as well. So out back, we need to set up some hoppers that uh, go in the other direction and link up to a super smelter that then funnels the stone back into the storage system. So we'll work on that next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am for this new series. I've always wanted to do a late game skyblock series i haven't seen many on youtube so uh stick around and there will be a lot more to come i guarantee it so i'll see you in the next episode